You are weary from your travels, but mesmerized at the sight of Baldur's Gate. Not only a town of myth and legend, but also a place where one can find fame and fortune round every corner. It is night as you enter the city, and it seems strangely deserted. Yes, but take the gold. Leave the rest for the watch. Damnable thieves. They grow bolder with each passing day. Still some life in this one. <laughs> Looks like all they did was make off with some possessions. Easy, easy there. That's quite a blow you took. Those thieves that attacked made off with your possessions. But at least you're alive. They're becoming more bold with each passing day. You'd best stay off the streets after the sun sets. It's not safe out here. You can seek shelter in the Elf Song Tavern. It's close enough. Aye, more than enough cutthroats there. Could be one of them would even know how to find those that attacked you. Drawn by a haunting voice, you come to the Elf Song Tavern. It is a small place, filled with a motley assortment of patrons and grisly trophies. There, the haunting voice is all around you, and the patrons are silent as the song washes over them. One by one, they all seemed lost in its call. Beautiful song, isn't it? I've heard her sing a hundred times, and each time it still moves me. It's the spirit of an elven woman. She haunts this tavern, singing once every couple of nights. No one truly knows. Her spirit was here when I first bought this tavern. Some say she sings for a lost love, a soldier who died defending Baldur's Gate. They say she sings in the hope he will hear her voice and return home. Still, that's nothing but hearsay and tales. Welcome to the Elf Song Tavern. What can I get you? Hmm. Sounds like members of that new thieves guild I've been hearing about. You're lucky to be alive. Word is they're responsible for the murder of two city watchmen and the disappearance of several thieves from the old guild. No one knows where the Guild Hall is. Still, if you're determined to find them, try the sewers. I'll wager they've been using them to move around Baldur's Gate. It's probably what's been driving all those sewer rats up to the surface. Well, there's a gate to the sewers in the cellar of this tavern. I locked it up a long time ago, before the Guild War began. Well, there's a problem with that. Actually, maybe we can help each other out. Well, we've had to lock up the cellar because of the horde of rats that suddenly showed up down there. Clear them out for me and I'll give you the key to the sewer gate. And a little gold to help you get back on your feet. What do you say? The door to the cellar is locked, so you'll need to get the key from Ethan over in the corner there. Luck be with you. And watch those rats. Some of them can be vicious. Welcome, friend. I saw you come in. Nasty bump on the head you've got there. Something I can do for you? I do. We locked the door to the cellar once the rats started swarming around down there. Did you need it for something? Are you sure it was the rat problem? 
Or are you thinking of hunting down those thieves that attacked you? I overheard your conversation with Aelith. Look, friend, you've met them once and escaped with your life. Don't test your luck twice. Well, if the thieves won't keep you from going down there, maybe the rats will. All right, then. I won't say I didn't warn you. Here's the key to the cellar door. Don't be too long, or else I'll have to come down and get you. Oh, and before you go, take this dagger. It's uh, not much, but it might do you some good. This isn't the place for that. This isn't the place for that.
You're back. Did you see Ethan down there? He followed you down there not long ago, and I fear he may have gotten lost in the cellar. Or worse, he may have wandered into the sewers. I tried to stop him. Thank you. But before you go, please take these coins in payment for all you've done so far. And, as promised, here's the key to the sewer gate. Be careful down there. There are bound to be worse things than sewer rats in those tunnels. What do you want? Oh, there's always been thieves and... Uh, and with the... Yeah, if you could find some way to get that cellar door key from old Ethan, then head down to the cellars to get me a bottle. Hey, it'll do me well enough. Welcome, friends. If you're look Well, I don't know the cause, friend, but the word is there's been some trouble between the thieves... We have many fine deals. What are you looking for? Our shop carries the finest dwarven weapons. Brought here all the way from the Sunset Mountains. Swords, axes, bows. We have everything you need right here. If you need something to split someone's skull, or a helm to protect your own, You've come to the right place. If quality and price are your chief concerns, then look no farther. You'll find my shop has excellent weapons. seek lies on the level below past the sewer grates. Let no one see you enter the temple and do exactly as you have been instructed. Now be on your way. I will return for the prisoner later. Guard him well.
Once you're here, any longer and I'd be sitting in some kobold's belly. Well, after I gave you the cellar door key, I felt guilty about letting you head down here without help. So, I followed you down. No sooner do I get down here than I'm surrounded by those yapping kobold devils and they haul me to this cell and lock me in. There's an entrance to the sewers from the street and I use that. I knew about it from my days when I was in the guild. The old guild, not the new one. No, but I was hoping that maybe the rats would discourage you from chasing those thieves. I was worried the thieves would kill you. Retired, but life's behind me. Still, I've kept a bit of what I've learned. managed to pick this key off the chieftain you killed. I think it unlocks a gate deeper in the sewers. If you're still aiming to catch those thieves that robbed you, then you'll need it. While I was locked up here, I overheard some of the thieves from this new guild planning a mission. And that's what I heard. I don't know what that thief was carrying, but it can't have been good. If you want to stop whatever deviltry they've got planned, then you'll need to head deeper into the sewers and find that thief. Right then, I don't need to tell you to be careful. I'll meet up with you at the Elf Song Tavern later on. Come find me when you found that thief or what he was carrying. I'll try to dig up some of my old contacts and see if they can tell me anything about these thieves that could help you out.
much stuff already. Not too much stuff already. Well met, friend. It's good to see a new face in the elf song. Please have a seat, share a drink. Ah, oh, sad tale, friend. Well, I came to... but I... It was always his intention that it be passed on through our family, and now that I... Please, leave me be. I... I've been waiting for someone, but I fear I wait in vain. My man, Kissin just gone on and uh, he has this isn't the place for that we have many fine deals what are you looking for our shop carries the finest dwarven weapons brought here all the way from the sunset mountains Everything you need right here. If you need something to split someone's skull, or a helm to protect your own, you'll come to the right place. If quality and price are your chief concerns, then look no farther. You'll find my shop has excellent weapons at reasonable prices. I think the smell of the sewers has taken a liking to you. We have many fine deals. What are you looking for?
Have you done as I asked, Khan? Yes, my Lord Xantum. I sent one of my best men to the crypts in the temple, as you instructed. The orb must be placed within the Chamber of Ashes within the crypts. If your man fails to do this, then both of you shall answer for it. Yes, my lord. He knows your wishes, and he will not fail you. Very well. Bring me the prisoner you found in the sewers. I will question him now. Um, my lord, I, I sent for the prisoner some time ago, but I have received no word from the bugbears in the sewers. Send your men into the sewers. Find out what has happened to our soldiers and bring me the prisoner. Do not fail me in this, Khan. Yes, my lord. Should I recall the man I sent to the temple? No. If he places the orb as instructed, he will not be coming back. Tell your men to avoid the temple grounds. To enter it now is certain death. of ill manner. I tend the crypts and perform burial rites here at the Shrine of Suffering. Now, now I fear that I shall be the next one to be changed. Into the Walking Dead! Haven't you seen them? They're everywhere! My fellow brothers and sisters of the temple, all dead. I was taking an urn of ashes to one of the crypts when I discovered a strange set of tracks downwards. That thing, that foul orb, and the dead arose around me. Vile skeletons, zombies, on holy ground. I acted quickly, sealing this level off from the level below, then barricaded myself in this room. I had hoped sealing off this level would prevent the dead from reaching here. I was wrong. We priests of ill matter set up some non-lethal traps here in the crypts to capture grave robbers. The trap that sealed off the exits is triggered by three urns on this level. When these urns are taken from their pedestals, stone blocks seal off all the exits from this level. I knocked all the urns from their pedestals and then barricaded myself in here. <sighs> but I was not fast enough. Some of the dead had already entered this level, and the power of that... that thing below seems to be able to reach even here. They're coming from below, from that... that thing in the Chamber of Ashes. It's an orb. I only caught a glimpse of it, but it was... No, my place is here. I... I don't know. I was delivering an urn to the lower crypts when I suddenly noticed tracks on the floor. As I am the only one who usually comes down here, I became curious and followed them. They lead to the level below. That was when I noticed a foul-smelling mist emanating from the Chamber of Ashes. When I entered the chamber, there it was. A swirling gray orb surrounded by bodies and this horrid glow. And to reach the level below, you must find the three urns on this level and place them back on the proper pedestals. Then the gate to the crypts below will open. There are three urns, gold, silver, and bronze. They and the pedestals they rested upon were intended to catch grave robbers. 
I had hoped by activating them I could seal the undead below. A vain hope. No, my place is here. I... I should help you, not run from this. If I can help you, I will.
destroyed the orb. To reach the level below, you must find the three urns on this level and place them back on the proper pedestals. Then the gate to the crypts below will open. There are three urns, gold, silver, and bronze. They and the pedestals they rested upon were intended to catch grave robbers. I had hoped by activating them I could seal the undead below. I don't, I don't. 
our mules wait already. shop carries the finest dwarven weapons, brought here all the way from the Sunset Mountains. Swords, axes, bows, we have everything you need right here. If you need something to split someone's skull, or a helm to protect your own, you'll come to the right place. If quality and price are your chief concerns, then look no farther. You'll find my shop has excellent weapons at reasonable prices. Oh, friend. I think the smell of the sewers has taken a liking to you. We have many fine deals. What are you looking for? Shop kept swords, axes, bows. We have everything you need right here. Oh, it's good to see you again. Why? I feared I would have to.
see you've done it. I feared that we were lost. Oh, Ilmatter has truly sent you to us in our darkest hour. Where did this foul orb come from? Someone did this horrid act on purpose? This is grave news. I appreciate all you have done. Well-met adventurer. Ethan has told me of how you rescued him in the sewers, and I have already heard of your bravery in the Shrine of Suffering. I decided that I would see this hero for myself. I am not disappointed. I hope you shall not disappoint me. Your actions in the temple showed great courage and sacrifice, a willingness to risk your life to protect others, an admirable quality. Ethan and I are members of the Harpers, a group whose members have dedicated their lives to the safety of the realms and its people. I invite you to join us. We seek men and women of courage to band with us to protect the realms when the realms cannot... Excellent. As no... The orb you encountered in the temple was placed there for a reason. It was intended to sow chaos, to distract the city watch in order to allow another group to operate freely. The dead man you found in the room with the orb was a thief. He was a member of a thieves' guild, a new guild that has appeared in Baldur's Gate. This guild follows the symbol of a bloody eye. They left their mark on the bodies of two city watchmen murdered several days ago. This guild has declared war on the existing Baldur's Gate thieves' guild. In the past few days, many of the old guild's members have vanished. Dead, most likely. That may be asking too much. Of greatest concern to us. It... Excellent. Another agent of ours tracked one of the thieves to a secret guild entrance below the city. It's a secret door on the first level of the sewers in the northeast section. We have no idea how to open the door, however. It bears a special enchantment that is proof against most magics. Let me see it. Ah, yes, a curious item. It seems to bear a minor enchantment that dispels shadows, but the enchantment in the key is dormant. Perhaps its close proximity to the orb just... Please be careful. This isn't the place for that. I wouldn't spend too much time with me, stranger. Surely you've heard of the thieves plaguing Baldur's Gate? Well... One of them waylaid the merchant caravan I was guarding while we were less than a league from... They came upon us in the night. Slaughtered several... I was hoping that I could track down the thieves and set the matter right by at least recovering the box of spices. But since coming to the city, I've had no luck tracking down their guilt. Your kind, strange... Taking on that new thieves' guild, friend. Watch your back. And maybe get some armor for it, too. Any of these weapons would be sure to stop a thief dead in his tracks. If you're taking on the new guild, be sure to get them all. Thieves have long memories.
have many fine deals. What are you looking for? in the temple. Why do the priests still live? I do not know, my lord Xantum. I have heard rumors that the orb was destroyed before it could do more than slay a few priests. By whom? I do not know for certain, my lord, but I think my thieves and I may have met the attacker on the city streets above. If they were one of your victims, how is it this creature still lives? The City Watch came upon us as we were about to deal the killing blows, my lord. We were forced to flee to avoid being captured. Your oversight has cost us much, Khan. Gather the soldiers. Although our secret entrances still remain undetected, it's a real matter of time before the dogs of the City Watch sniff us out, and we must be prepared for them. I will see to it at once, my lord. Khan. If the creature who destroyed the orb should make its way here... It shall not come to that, my lord. I swear it. We shall see, Khan. If you fail me in this, I shall attend to the matter personally.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>
place for that. Word is you're taking on that new thieves guild, friend. Watch your back. And maybe get some armor for it, too. Any of these weapons would be sure to stop a thief dead in his tracks. If you're taking on the new guild, be sure to get them all. Thieves have long memories. We have many fine deals. What are you looking for? Our shop carries the finest dwarven weapons. Brought here all the way from the Sunset Mountains. Swords, axes, bows, whips. way to think I missed the chance to kill you when we first met you speak the truth I had not expected you to make it through the gauntlet still it matters little whether you kill me or not for either way you will still die even if you kill me my lord waits below your death at his hands will be a slow one compared to the mercy I will show you
so. You are the stranger that Khan spoke of. You humanoids all look alike to me, weak and fragile. Khan should have killed you when he had the chance. It is no matter. There are always others like him, small-minded and foolish, eager to take his place. You humanoids were born to be our slaves. And you will answer for those deaths. Do you think that your efforts here have saved this city? You're wrong. Our power extends far beyond these city streets. You cannot hope to stop us all. It is you who will die, and your death will be a slow one. The Marsh of Kalimba? It is as I feared. The evil that has risen in Baldur's Gate is only part of a greater evil. These three locations are tied, though I know not how. Oh, this gate worries me. This beholder and his legions were able to use it to enter Baldur's Gate without being detected. It seems this gate is tied to the Sunset Mountains. A further cause for worry. We've heard strange rumors from the Sunset Mountains over the past few weeks, but the agent we sent to investigate the rumors has not returned. I now fear for his life. Please, I must ask you to head through the gate and see what has happened in the Sunset Mountains. Other creatures may have arrived there, and if so, we must know their strength before taking action. You have already accomplished much, and we are grateful. Please, here is some gold and items that may aid you on your mission. Use them wisely. I must go and tell the Dukes of the city what has been discovered here. Please rest and prepare yourself before heading through the gate. There's no telling what waits on the other side. from that beholder. Please, my shop is yours. Be sure to tell everyone you meet you buy weapons from my store. 
We have many fine deals. What are you looking for? Our shop carries the finest bourbon weapons. Brought here all the way from the sunset. This isn't the place for that. Hmm? 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 Hmm?